here we're going to take a look at the display on the Tremos V9 height gauges. On the V9 height gauges you see there are a series of icons located on the bottom section of the display. These icons are going to navigate us through the different functions of the gauge. Coming from left to right we have our references, our resolution, our inch millimeter direct conversion. We have the ability to delete lines out of our buffer zone as well as doing a total reset of the buffer zone. We also have our probe calibration icon as well as a printer icon. Working to the second row we have our zero button which is going to allow us to establish a zero or a reference position. We also have a preset. We have our min, max and our delta function, our diameter function, our standard surface to surface function and then we have a Tremos icon which is going to cycle through to another page. On our second page only the top line changes. On the second page of the icons we also have a delta function, a center line function, an angle function, also a perpendicularity function and a 2D function. Looking at the top half of the display we have a series of different icons. The top number on the display is always going to be a direct measurement from your zero position. When there is a second number present on the display, that is going to be your delta. It's going to be the difference between the last two measurements you've taken. We'll also see a series of measurements that will fill in our buffer with the option to toggle to a graphical representation of the function that is being, that is taking place. We also have a force gauge on the top left hand side of the display. This is going to inform the operator when they've achieved the proper amount of measuring force to trigger the measurement. For example, if I were to take a measurement on my block, when I drive into the block, you'll see the bar starts to drive up, and once it reaches the proper amount of force, the zone goes green, you hear the audible feedback, you take your measurement, and it's then registered. It works in the opposite direction as well, where the bar begins to drop, it enters the perfect amount of measuring force, taking the measurement and recording the reading. Thank you.